Some big changes are on the way for a large area of Salt Lake City. Rocky Mountain Power is planning to develop 100 acres of land. You can see on this map the development extends from North Temple south to Interstate 80 and then Redwood Road east to the Jordan River. Fox 13's John Franke explains how it could help revitalize the city's west side. Well, this has been uh, traditionally kind of an industrial part of town. For decades, this area of Salt Lake City has been somewhat of an eyesore, a legacy as old as the city itself. The first pioneers, their first landfill was on this site. Rocky Mountain Power wants to give 100 acres of this industrial land a makeover. Developers have been interested in this property for a long time. The time for developers to do their work is now. Rocky Mountain Power is collaborating with city and state leaders to build a new corporate headquarters flanked by homes, businesses and restaurants on the site. Redeveloping this area is going to be transformational for the west side of Salt Lake City. The land is on the south side of North Temple and sits between the airport and downtown Salt Lake. It's one of the first areas visitors see as they head into the city. It's going to be a real opportunity to develop one of the most important corridors into Salt Lake City. Rocky Mountain Power believes the importance of this project goes well beyond the looks. One benefit is how it could enhance the quality of life. Several aspects of the neighborhood are going to be greatly improved for cycling, for walking, access to the river. The power company also envisions a beneficial impact on the environment. We want it to be kind of a model of sustainability. We want it to show what the future is going to look like. And the project may help you save money on your energy bill. By using this site um, that is so valuable, we'll be able to bring in a lot of money and that will be passed on to customers. Utah is changing every day. As the state grows, developments like this are greatly reshaping the landscape. It should really show off the mountains, it should show off the things that we do, and give people a place to live and work uh, that, that really shows off our city in the right way. Rocky Mountain Power expects to have a project team in place by May of 2021, but it could be a couple of years until we see some major changes on this site. In Salt Lake City, John Franke, Fox 13 News, Utah.